Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my makeup organization and storage video. I'm going to be doing it in three parts because my camera seems to be a bit wonky. So we're going to get started with the first tower. Um, I'll let you know about everything as I go along, but the majority of it is all from IKEA. So let's get started. So over here is where I keep my nail polishes, and as you can see, I have my nail polish rack, which houses my china glaze, my OPI, my color club, and some Avon. Then over here in this bin here, has all my other nail polishes, like my e.l.f., my clear coats, some base coats, some French nail stuff. And then I have some LA colors, some NYC colors, and things like that. In the next drawer I have is my bases, my primers, my mirrorized skin finishes, uh, my foundations, concealers, and all that kind of face kind of stuff. So in the back here, I have my blushes, my MAC skin finishes, um, more skin finishes, some bronzer, lots of foundations, concealers, powders, all different kinds of powders, pressed powders, all that. And over here is my bases, so I have my next jumbo pencil, and some of the uh, MAC to squared uh, grease paint stick. I have some of the e.l.f. elf um, cream bases. Um, I have my MAC Select SPF Foundation. And I'm N35, NC35. And then I have my new favorite Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. And then here's the primers and paint pots that I have. So, and then I have my, some of my Re Cream Revlon palettes here. In my next drawer is all my loose pigments. So over here I have all of my Glamour Doll Eyes. And then there's some over here Glamour Doll Eyes, some MAC pigments, some e.l.f. and some other miscellaneous ones. Over here I just have my LA Color pigments which I don't really use. So that's in this drawer. In my next drawer, I have all of my like other palettes and single eyeshadows. So in the corner, I have the MAC. Um, this is my first MAC eyeshadow in guacamole, and it's still one of my very favorite green eyeshadows. Carol Baker Visage here. Then over here, I have my other palettes, my Too Faced, my Urban Decay, my Kat Von D and Beethoven. Some NYX palettes and uh, MAC, some MAC shadows I moved over to my palette. Some Maybelline and some Stila. Then over here I have some ELF single eyeshadows. Some Carol, B ba Carol Baker Visage quads. And all of my LA Colors palettes here. Over here just some uh, single eyeshadow pots I haven't used yet and some newerish kind of stuff that I haven't touched, like the e.l.f. Um, the e.l.f. eye transformer, the e.l.f. shimmer palette. Then over here is just all the e.l.f. like quads and the smaller quads. So that's all that's in this drawer. In the next drawer, I have all my eye kind of stuff, so Here's like all my eyeliners in black and different colors. So my black eyeshadow, eye mascara, sorry. My more mascaras in different colors besides black. Some of my um, gel liners from Avon to, to uh, MAC. Or Coastal Scent, sorry. Um, here's some of my glitter mascaras. And then over here I just have like my backup eyeliners and some backup or things I wanted to try of mascaras. And then here's just some lash extender which I never really use. 
In my next drawer, I have all, like, my nail kind of other stuff. So I have, like, all my nail art pens, like, nail art decos, my Conan stuff, my Emmy boards and peppers and, and art stuff and more Emery, brand new Emery boards, nail polish removers and pedicure type stuff, things like that. In my next drawer is my entire like skincare system and that's going to like be a whole other video because I'm still trying to learn it so as I learn it I'll explain it to you. So here's part two of my makeup collection and storage. I'm sorry I'm going to make you dizzy for two seconds. Okay so this is my desk and my mirror and over here is where I just keep my tissue, um, some cotton swabs and pads and stuff like that. Um, over here is just a makeup bag that I have with some makeup in it that I have to put away. These are just currently like some brushes that I'm using that I've used that need to be washed. Um, here's just a mirror that I have for closer up views and working with my face. Uh, behind here I just have just a random thing with like a bunch of like promotional items and a quad that I haven't opened, a, a uh, makeup brush that I haven't used yet but I wanted to try by Eco Tools, my Fix Plus, and some other stuff. Over here I have all of my uh, cloths for cleaning my brushes, my makeup remover, and my brush cleaners. Over here is all of my brushes. So over here is all like my big face powdery brushes, um, and here's all like my tweezers, foundation, concealer, eyebrows, that kind of stuff. And over here is all like all my eye brushes. And then over here are my kabuki brushes. And I'm also going to show you my um, palettes. So this is my Sedona Lace 28 Neutral Palette. Over here is my 88 color palette. Over here is my blush contour palette. Over here is my concealer palette. And over here is a blush palette. And then my MAC eyeshadow palette which I need to fill up. And then my MAC and then my MAC blushes. So these are actually not housed on my table but I will show you that in two seconds. Hold on and let me go to part three. From Carol Baker these eyes to MAC to the Maybelline, my Glamour Doll Eyes, Elf, um, Wet n Wild, so that's blushes in the back. Then in the front here I have all my lipsticks and lip liners. So I have Elf, I have Avon, I've got MAC, I've got NYX, NYC, some more lipstick so I just will have a little holder and then my lip liner right here. In my next drawer is all my lip glosses. So all of the ones that are in like a glass like tube type thing are here. So over here I have um just some Smashbox and some Avon. All my Carol Baker Visas. All my MAC there's all of just like random companies like Coastal Scents, uh, NYX, Bonneville, Elf, that kind of stuff. And over here I just have like some little palettes and a tender tone in purring for MAC. And here are some tubes that I have, glasses. And these are just like my tin and my like lip glosses, like lip balm type stuff here. So in my next drawer 
is kind of where I keep all my tools. It's kind of messy. But over here is where I usually keep my palettes that I have over on the table. Then I just have like extra cotton pads and applicators, um, hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer wipes, and, like just some tools here, some eyelashes, eyelash curlers, sharpeners, and brush guards, and blotting powders and stuff. So that's over here. Then in my next drawer, I have um, some travel brushes and some new bottles, some shimmer stuff because I don't have that much. My travel Mary Kay mirror, my Sonia Kashuk, and some sets that I haven't really opened yet but are here still. And some mirrors. Hold on, I'm going to drop this. Sorry about that. So then I have my yummy yeah, mirrors here, and this is like really cool. I bought this on a trip a, a little while ago. It says, Today was a total waste of makeup, and I thought it was really cute. So in my next drawer, I just have like some hair stuff, some hand lotion, some samples, and just some more hair and like accessory type stuff here. And in the back, I just have, like, some extra stuff for, like, prizes or, or whatever. And my next door just carries all my makeup bags and travel cases and that kind of stuff, like brush rolls. And, uh, yeah. So this is an overview of my makeup storage and collection. I apologize if I made you guys all dizzy. Um, so yeah, most of the stuff I got was from Ikea, um, the applicator jar and, and stuff like that is from, uh, HomeSense, and yeah, so if anyone has any questions or they want any in-depth reviews or whatever, just let me know down below and I will do my best to answer them for you. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye!